Uh, hi guys, today um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to walk in Ableton Live. Um, I'm going to give an example using drums. Um, so let's go ahead and do that, shall we? So um, I'm going to drag a drum loop into there, and what Ableton tends to do, especially for like short loops, is that it will automatically quantize or walk. Um, the transients to where they're su supposed to be. So, for example, if I put on the metronome and the, and the drum loop, double. Uh, let me raise the metronome so you hear that. So, it's, here, it's, it's pretty much in time. So, I'm just going to show you guys how to just kind of get there, basically. So, I'm going to take off walk. Um, as you can see, now it's you know completely out of time. I'm gonna hit walk, um, and here's what we're gonna do. What I like to do is just use this. So what this is is basically the loop thing, that function. So if I you know then extend it, it will then play from the next loop, uh, um, from the, from where it begins again. Um, but I like to kind of just use this. This marker, um, just when I'm walking. So, um, oh, I don't like to have it on loop. I just like to kind of just use it as a as a guide. Um, so, what we're gonna do is just kind of. So you can kind of see that's meant to kind of be here. Um, also, by uh, to create a walk marker, you double click and then drag it back. I mean, you just double click and then by dragging it back, you put it on, on time. But um, you don't necessarily have to. Um, one thing I like to do sometimes is just drag it by the transient marker. Because then what that does is put everything in time. Or more or less in time. But then you can kind of go in, you know, and walk individual things yeah, you really want everything to kind of be snap on so that's kind of off that kind of sounded late And then let's you know take this here, let's hit loop. That'd be for everything. And yeah, that's just be good. And as you can see, uh, it's in time. Um, also got well, also want to show you guys uh, just the beat uh, algorithm in Ableton. Uh, I know you, you, in the beat algorithm you've got, uh, you know, like forward once, forward twice, backwards and forwards. Usually it's set to backwards and forwards and the alg algorithm is like kind of, um, you know, at 100% all the time. But I wanted to show you what you could just do with forward once because I think it's kind of cool. And by dragging down the envelope, you can make your drum kits kind of kind of shorter or longer as you prefer um, so yeah I thought it was just a cool function um, so that's warping drums within A1 Live